What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do a bunch of DIYs. I haven't done a DIY, look, I haven't done a DIY video in so long and I do a lot of DIYs, I just don't film them so I thought I would put together a DIY video for you guys. So I actually have about six DIYs to show you guys, they're actually really really easy and hella trendy so you guys are really going to love this video. I'll give you guys a quick little overview of everything. It's very inexpensive, everything that I bought or that I thrifted. Um, so I will get into detail of the things that you... These are not supposed to be there. <laughs> I will get into the detail of the things that you need for each project. But yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different projects. So let's get to DIYing. Okay, so the very first DIY is going to be a beret, and I've been seeing these like really cute berets everywhere, so this was kind of like what I was inspired by, and all you need is a beret, so I have this beige beret, and a patch of your choice. I found these really cute heart um, patches that I'm going to patch on, and then an iron, and that's basically all you need for this DIY, so let's get to it. So the first thing that you're going to do is just mark on your hat where you want to put the patches and then basically all you got to do is place them in those in the same place that you marked and iron it on and you are literally done. It's as simple as that. It may be a good idea to ask somebody else to help you if you're not used to using an iron because it can be kind of dangerous and you basically just have to iron on your patches and you are good to go and you have a very cute beret. Not to mention that the patches were about $4.99 and the beret was about $3 so it was a total of under $10. Okay, on to DIY number two. All you're going to need is some cool like fuzzy fabric. I picked this one up actually from Walmart yesterday and I didn't even think about doing this DIY. As soon as I saw it I was like hey I need to use this for something. And then also just a pair of jeans. Whatever floats your boat. These are just some nice high waisted gap jeans. They're actually really really cute. Um, so I hope this turns out or else I will be wasting some good old jeans. And then also some E600 glue or any sort of like fabric glue. Uh, just a pair of scissors and a marker. So I tried this a bunch of different ways but I figured the easiest way was to just actually trace the pocket out and then place it on to and like fix it up as you go along and then cut it out on a piece of paper and it it took a lot of trial and error. I feel like there's probably an easier way to do this but honestly I couldn't Think at that moment so I just traced it and then I placed it on the fabric and just cut out the fabric I also highly suggest to um, double over the fabric so you get two of the exact same pieces. That way you don't have to cut two different and they're not different so that just makes it a lot easier and the pockets are pretty much the same anyways. And the last thing you just got to do is place the pockets, you can fix them, you can cut them up as best as you can to match as best you can the actual pocket. And then you just have to glue it on and you are pretty much done this project. And then all you got to do is use your E6000 glue and start gluing the pockets on. So you 
you can totally leave your project as is, but I decided to put a little bit of the fabric on the front pocket, just kind of peeking out. This was really easy. You basically just have to cut out a square. I honestly freehanded it and just tried to match it as best that I could. So if you are if you want to do that or you could measure it out also uh, with the same paper and pen math method, then go for it. But this is just like a little extra flair to the pants that I really liked. Okay, I'm actually living for these pants and look at this combo with these boots. I'm sorry if the lighting is like kind of sucky. Maybe if I can turn this a little bit. Okay, so these jeans I'm absolutely living for. They are my leopard print babies. Just absolutely so freaking cute. Like look at that pocket I think they're so bomb and they just like give a little extra like sass I love the front pocket too it's just a little bit something and you can still go into all of these pockets which is the best part about it and just look at this combo though like I had to break out these boots for this combo I'm so in love with this I'm definitely going to be doing this to a skirt that I have um, with the same pattern probably I would probably definitely yeah I'm definitely doing that again Okay, moving on to the next DIY. So what you need for this one is just a skirt, any skirt of your choice. I have this black denim one. You could either like get really any color would look good. And then some checkerboard printed fabric, some scissors yet again, and my E600 glue or E6000 glue. Oops, I keep saying 600 and it has the fur stuck to it still. So. So the first thing that you're going to do is measure the length of your skirt and then you're going to cut out the um, checkerboard fabric to fit the length of the skirt. As you can see, I did that secondly, but do it first Do it first, so you don't make the same mistake that I did. Um, so cut it long enough. Cut it long enough that you have a little bit of extra fabric just to make sure that it does fit. And yeah, so you're going to cut out two... Um, different sides so both sides of a long strips um, that measure to about the same length as your skirt maybe just a little bit longer and you want to have you see how I did it in twos so it will basically be four okay I don't make any sense right now but just watch <laughs> you'll you'll know what I'm saying so just cut out two different strips that are as long as a skirt or just a little bit longer so once you have your strips cut off, you can basically place them on both sides and you're going to be making a checkerboard skirt with checkerboards on both sides of it. I cut off the excess length of the checkerboard, but you could obviously also keep it longer if you like that effect. My skirt was just a little bit too long for me, so I ended up chopping the whole entire skirt off. You'll see at the end of it all, but then all you're going to want to do is take your E6000 glue and start gluing yet again, and then you are done. Here is the finished look of the skirt. I actually ended up cutting the skirt completely because it just fit me really awkwardly, at a, hit me at an awkward length. So it kind of took off like the bottom of that like extra skirt part that I had, which I, I still like it like this anyways. I actually like this a lot, um, but you can definitely also leave it or whatever but the skirt was just an awkward length so I had to chop the bottom off of it anyways but I really really like the outcome of this I think it is so freaking cute and very very stylish okay so for the next DIY I want to make this jacket by the ragged priest they also have pants but I like the jacket it's like really cool. So we're gonna try to make this bad boy I have all of the materials right there so let's get to it so the materials that you're going to need for this project is just a denim jacket three different kinds of checkerboard fabric you can copy mine or you can choose different colors and some scissors and then just some glue 
So I'll pop the picture up on the screen so you can kind of copy it for yourself also. But what I did was I started with the black at the very top and I just measured every piece across the same way and I kind of just cut it. You could either, you can just wing it like I do or you can also measure it. So the first thing that I did for the back side was I cut all the pieces out first and laid it all out before just gluing the first piece on just to make sure it all fit properly. I think that's the best way to do is kind of plan out each side. So I just started with the back side and I cut out all of the pieces. Um, I felt like I just wanted to do the exact same jacket so I cut it out pretty much the exact same. You could also just make your own type of jacket but I did the back side exactly the same. I just really like the look of it. You could do it any way that you want but I really like this one. And then again, you just start to glue. I actually only glued on the dark parts of the checkerboard, so all the blue and all the red, because if you put it on the white, I found with the checkerboard skirt, it actually started to kind of be seen, like you could see through it a little bit. So I decided to just put it on the dark parts and it actually held up, like it still, it still held pretty fine. You could also, I'm actually thinking about sewing this one on or getting a different type of glue. If you know any other glues that are a little bit better for fabric, please let me know. I also had a fabric glue, but it just didn't like hold enough. So let me know in the comments down below what glue would you recommend so others can use that glue also. Um, but for the most part, using the E6000 glue on just the um, darker parts worked really well, and it's strong enough to hold anyways. So if that's what you wanna do, that's what you can do also. And the E6000 glue isn't so expensive also. So once you have the back all done, you can just flip it over to the front and basically do the same thing. I just cut out the red and the blue and the front was really easy. Once you have all of your pieces laid down, you can just start to glue. This is probably one of my favorite, actually the second favorite piece that I had made. I think it is so freaking cute. I mean, this could be an outfit, but I have a very different plans for this jacket. I absolutely love, love, love the back of it. Like, it is just so freaking bomb. I don't even know if you can see that or not, but I am living for it. I love it and it was pretty much like the fabric altogether was like $10 and the jacket was like $10. So it's pretty much $25 jacket and on Ragged Priest it was probably about $100. So you save a ton of money by DIYing it. I absolutely love this jacket. I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of wear out of it. Okay, moving on to the next DIY. So this is probably my favorite DIY out of all of them. So the first thing you're going to need is just some like basic white fabric, another pair of high-waisted mom jeans or just any jeans of your choice or pants even, some t-shirt transfer paper and some needles and thread because we're going to do a little bit of sewing, but just a little bit. So along with the other products that you're going to need for this DIY, you're also going to need to print out some cute logos or anything that floats your boat, honestly. Anything you want to put on these pants, you can. Uh, you can copy me if you want. I don't really care. But this is what I am going to be putting on to my pants. I'll show you guys in a minute. You're going to want to print the, the whatever logo you pick or whatever picture you pick and print it onto your and print it onto your t-shirt fabric transfers. So that is what I'm about to do right now. 
forgot to tell you guys the most important part is you have to flip the picture horizontal so you because when it prints out it will be and you want to flip it like put it on the it will say it backwards if that makes sense so you have to like click on the picture and flip horizontal like that so that it looks backwards on here but when you print it out and put it on the picture it will be on the on wherever you're putting it it will be the right it will be the right way Okay, so now you're going to cut out all of the logos that you had printed off. Um, just cut them as best as that you, as best as you can. Uh, that is basically all you're gonna do. And then you're gonna have to start to cut the fabric. So the white fabric that I had mentioned before. When's the clip coming? This fabric. So you want to cut this fabric and you want to measure it so it's just about the same size but a little bit bigger, uh, just to give it a little bit more space. And that way we have some room to grow and that's basically all you're gonna do for now. So once you have your logos and your fabric cut out, you're going to place the logo onto the fabric and just iron it on and hold it there for about 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, and then you're gonna like shake it off to just let it dry a little bit, not dry, but like cool down a little bit. And then all you're gonna do is peel it off very, this is like the most saddest fact, like so satisfying. This is the most satisfying part of it all is you're just gonna peel it off like a sticker or like a tattoo and then you will have a beautiful image. Then just repeat the same steps for all of the other logos and when you are finished it should look something like this. So here are all of the final transfer papers. They turned out really really well. I'm super happy about them and now we are going to place them on the jeans and you will see how cool it looks. So once you have them all placed where you want to have them, you're going to start to cut them and rip them and kind of make them look very distressed. So I took some scissors and then I cut a little bit and then I also ripped a little bit. Try not to cut like rip the logo off as best that you can, but just try to make it look a little bit more distressed and a lot less like sharp edges and more distressed. So this is where you're going to need your needle and thread and to bring out your sewing skills. Actually, you don't really need any sewing skills at all. And you're going to start to sew the patches in. It can be as messy as you want. I did not make this neat and I did that purposely because I love the way it looks when it's just very like unneat and I don't know I just really like the look of it I tested out a bunch of different stitching methods I did them all in different ways especially like you'll see in the playboy one I just wanted to make this my own so I basically that's basically what I did with the playboy with the playboy one I just put like stitching in each of the corners if you get lazy like me that's what I resorted to and then moving on to the back side, I also put a, um, a patch on the back where like the butt is. I really liked this little touch also. I think this is probably one of my favorite DIYs for the night. But honestly, it did take a long time. I'm just warning you, it was probably about two hours of sewing. So either split it up or just nail it out in the two hours. But honestly, it is worth it because these jeans are hella cute. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love them. I'm obsessed with them. I'm so excited to wear them. Um, I feel like this is probably one of my favorite DIYs. I love the like Saint Laurent on the bum. I don't know. It's just so bougie and on a budget. Absolute favorite DIY. Oh, not last but not least. I have something else. But these freaking pants. I am living for these. Like how bomb are these like oh these did take a while these were probably three hours 
So they did take a while with all of the stitching because I stitched it all by hand, but I am living for these. I'm definitely going to be wearing these a ton. Plus, these jeans are like made for me. They fit me so perfectly. So yeah, these ones are definitely, this is probably my favorite DIY of the day. Like so bomb, so bougie, and so on a budget. Like Okay, moving on to the final DIY for this video. All you're gonna need is a t-shirt of your choice. This one is just from Walmart. It was like $5. Uh, you could also just thrift one, but for $5, you might as well just get one from Walmart. And then you will have to do a printout uh, like I showed you guys in the last um, video. I also printed out two others um, for this video. Something cheesy, something that you're into. I did these McDonald's signs and I'm going to put them on the boobies to make it look really cute. So just like the last DIY, you are going to cut them out and have it on your transfer paper like before. Um, I don't think I mentioned that, but these are also transfer paper, the same transfer paper that we used for the last one. Make sure to try to line them up as best you can and just iron them on. And that is basically how you do the DIY. Obviously, you got to peel them off and yeah, let them cool down before you peel them off and you have a cute shirt. As for the last DIY, it's just this cute little McDonald's double shirt on the boob. I've been seeing these like shirts everywhere, the super sassy, something like different. So I thought I would come up with my own little design and do this type of thing. You guys know those are my colors, so I thought it was a good idea. I'm living for this. I've been making so many of these shirts myself. You can literally put anything you want on it and call it a day, honestly. And yeah, so that is the last DIY. Alright guys, that sums up this DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the first time that I've done a DIY in so freaking long, like at least a year or so. If you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!